The news that nearly headless Nick had been petrified spread through the school like a dark cloud when everyone got back from holiday. I know I wasn't if supposed to laugh at that, but the way he looked was just so weird with his mouth open like that. The first years moved around the castle in tight-knit groups, afraid they might be attacked if they ventured out alone. If the monster can a petrify a ghost, then first years aren't going to be able to do shit, even if they do stick together in groups. Better move in groups with older students and teachers if possible. Malfoy was not the heir of Slytherin. But if it isn't Draco, and it isn't Harry... Who is it? These nuts. Hurry, Harry. It's time for our defense against the Dark Arts class. Not his class again. Yeah, It'll fuck that wonderful. guy. Professor Lockhart is going to teach us Spongify. Oh yeah. Been waiting for this one. Yes, finally. Out of my way, shit lord. There it is. I see the classroom. Wait, where the fuck are you going, Hermione? It's clearly over there. Hurry! We don't want to be late for Professor Lockhart's class! What do you mean, we? Shut up, Harry Penis. I've been wanting to do this spell for a long time now. Why are the stairs so slow? Never wanted to go to a class more excitedly than this, if excitedly is even a word. Was she on this floor? Or the next one up? I don't see her. Oh, there she is. Welcome back to your favorite class, What's going on with the painting when the camera pans? Oh, see, it looks fine now. Learn to spongify. Harry Potter, you look eager to soak up a little knowledge. Step up in front of class and we'll show them how it's done. Lucky me. Don't say that sarcastically, Harry. I've been looking forward to this shit. Concentrate on the symbol before you. Uh, don't let my good looks distract you. Jesus Christ, Lockhart. I forgot it was probably the teacher Harry dislikes rather than the subject matter. I guess he enjoyed Quirrell teaching the class last year before he discovered Baltimore was attached to the back of his head and he tried to kill the poor Potter. You must correctly and accurately hit all of the points in order to go forward. Round one, begin. This sucks shit. I just want to start the lesson and fly and bounce all over the rooms already. I've been waiting to do this for like three hours now, ever since I walked in here and discovered the Spongify tiles all over the castle. It was quite a lot of fun to do it in the third game, and you didn't have to wait through a few hours of gameplay to be able to do it either. And why is it called Spongify anyways? When I think of a sponge, I think of a handheld washing sponge you find in a kitchen. Or the tube-like animals, and yes, they are technically classified as animals, at the bottom of the ocean floor. Neither of those things bounce. I mean, the spring-shaped symbol for the spell makes sense, but something like rubber or an air-inflated material would have made more sense. I don't know what would make well more sense as the incantation, the though. Next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin! I could see where following the wand here through a spiral shape might trip up a few people and cause them to hit an arrow out of order, particularly as the spiral narrows towards the bottom. Great work, lad! You completed all of the exercises! Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Thank you. So can we get started now? You have mastered Spongify! So now, you can take the Spongify challenge! Thank fuck. Here we go. No, 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 no. I don't care about an explanation. I know what to do already. Fuck off. 
Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge time... I already know this shit. Let me play. Lose the challenge. Along the way... Shut the fuck up. This is information that gets repeated every time. I get it already. I know how this works. I know about the challenge stars. get the completion star with as many seconds remaining... Fuck your hair. Let me do this challenge already. God damn it. Come on, hurry up. Jesus, finally. Are you shitting me? Fuck off! Actually, I'm just impatient because I already played the third game. This is probably important information if you've never seen the spell before. Jump on them. Look for this symbol on the ground to find hidden spongify pads. Spongify! Yes, I can fly now and hit my face on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll go back down. Oh shit, that was... Should have been predictable that that was going to happen. But yeah, I'll just get the usual beans and stuff down here. Lependo! Lependo! It's like he burst from a belch explosion. I don't know if it's faster to climb up and over or to walk around. Probably not too much of a difference either way. Lependo! Get fucked! I just fell diagonally. Just banged his noggin against the wall, too. Was there seriously only one bean in that cauldron? It seems to happen every once in a while. A cartoony sound effect for the bounce, but I like it. Seems fitting enough. Imps are vicious little creatures. Like gnomes, you use Flipendo to knock them back. Then you can pick them up and throw them into a hole to get rid of them. So they're disposed of in a similar fashion, but are somehow even uglier than gnomes. Well, I don't see any reason to wait around here. curious what that extra spongify tile over here will do for me. Uh, well, what the fuck? How do I get out of this? Oh, great. And I got Challenge Star, too. It almost looks like a floating piece of multi-layered cake with layers of icing throughout with some crumbled cookies near the top or something. Yeah, the wood can be different shades of chocolate icing. I sort of made a pattern like that once with alternating vanilla and chocolate one time. Although I think it was marble cake underneath, if I remember correctly, so there was no crushed up cookies in any part of that cake. Feels like I barely just started this lesson and I've already got three challenge stars. Oh, and there's the fourth one. Wait, it... Well, it's not like it was within reach anyways, although presumably I can still reach it using Spongify. Don't see the point in lifting it higher. Did that thing just fucking bite me? There's a fucking third one too? Okay, I'll at least pick up one I already stunned. You cocksucker! Just, just comes back to life like that? Oh. Jesus Christ, guys, these fuckers recover quickly. Or at least quickly enough that I can't take on all three of them at once. Yeah, I can do this now. I probably need to re-stun them every several seconds to keep them down, though. I think that was my initial mistake. Alright, I'm good to go. Hey, wait a minute, I thought I picked it up. I'll get that frog later. Oh, and the gate up there lowers itself. But the imps didn't even give me any beans for throwing them into their horizontal trash can of a home. That should be straightforward enough. Jump up and get the star. Don't overshoot it and fall off, of course. 
Generally speaking, a spongify tile steers you properly, but it's possible to jump on it in such a way that it does something unexpected where it overshoots or undershoots you. Now, where's the hidden room? I almost didn't see the sparkling from way over there. Okay, a bronze card. Not bad. After dealing with the imps biting chunks out of my arms, I could probably use another health bar in the near future. Because I'm probably going to be seeing a lot more of those damn things now that they've been introduced to the gameplay experience. Okay, note to self, a cutscene can cancel forward momentum, and presumably momentum in general, regardless of direction. Are they parading at the monsters in here? Eparating? Eparating? I can't ever pronounce that. I can't reach it? Fuck! Oh. I wonder how many people have gotten stumped at this part simply because they weren't in the habit of looking behind themselves. Or just looking all around in general when they enter most new rooms. This is why I do that slightly annoying thing where I walk into a room, stop, and wave the camera around looking at shit before I keep going. It might ruin the flow of the video a bit, but I've never played this game before, so I don't know what's located where. I sort of like parts of the game where I can just be placed one-on-one -on -one with monsters like this and it's my job to take them all out by rapid-firing spells at all of them while dodging any potential attacks. I just find that to be more enjoyable and interesting and honestly I wish there was more of it. Cool, more silver paper. That was quite the ride, he even took me through the door. I got rid of the slime, where's the green light still coming from? I bet there's something in here, and I'm going to find it. There we go. Does the guy living in that portrait not upset that I shot a spell at his face? Nice, another silver card. Get the fuck out of here, you smurf mosquito. Although Rick December doesn't just stun it, it disappears entirely in an explosion of light-up glitter. I can hear another one mocking me from above. Good, another chocolate frog. What makes you willing to sit still for hours at a time in a room all by yourself, but the instant someone comes near you, you have to jump all over the place? Actually, that's a pretty dumb question. Obviously, it knows it's going to be eaten. And that room was lit up with torches, wasn't it? Those rooms probably get pretty hot if there are enough torches burning in a small enough enclosed space. Those frogs probably have an enchantment on them to prevent them from melting in the presence of heat. I hear that Lumos jingling noise or whatever it is. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Okay, a spongify tile hidden behind a Lumos panel led me to two beans. One piece of Wigan tree bark and one jar of flubberworm mucus. That's a bit disappointing. Wait, hold on. There's more here. Okay, cool. Not so disappointing anymore. Wait, I could have just walked down one of the side ledges. I didn't need to spongify up and over everything again and fall down onto that pillar. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm curious about these other spongify tiles down below.
Oh great, I gotta deal with yet another potato. Shut up. Getting rid of a gnome opened a doorway? Okay, so which tile do I use? Well, not that one. I don't know why I did that. That makes no sense. God damn it! Alright, on with the lesson. Did I seriously miss the jump again? Oh shit, more of this fuckness. God damn it. Jesus, I think I took a direct hit and I barely even stumbled backwards. Yeah, I'm glad this ectoplasma is somewhat transparent so I can see the next large fire crab behind it. What was that noise? This is good action music for this game. Yeah, too far away. I got this. Boom. Boom! Got you. Are you shitting me? Are you literally squeezing me out of your asshole right now. Now I gotta clear away all the Danny Phantom ghost shit. I don't even know. All over again. Chocolate frogs are still here. That's good. So I guess touching the ectoplasm harms me, but breathing in the leftover particulate matter it leaves behind doesn't hurt me? That makes sense. Apparently I can fly through the air faster than whatever I shoot out of my wand. Still can't reach it. Alright, no biggie. I'll just jump over and... Aha! tricked you into flying closer. I love it when I can cast the next Spongify mid-jump and keep hopping along uninterrupted. Neat! I have 9 out of 10 challenge stars. I may be able to collect all of them this time. Does this lead me? Flipendo! Oh. Uh, oh, glad the stairs still exist, even though the Lumo spell wore off. Doesn't make much sense, though, but whatever. Where's that noise again? Oh, God, no. Go away! Why can't I also kill them just by jumping and crushing them, Super Mario style? Seriously, what the fuck is that noise? And how do those two spiders rub up against my legs for five seconds and not hurt me at all? noise isn't even consistent, either. I have no idea what to make of that. Damn! Were there two of them, or did I not hit it properly the first time? 
That's ridiculous. Wow, there's the tenth challenge star. This lesson is going along pretty much perfectly for me, so the background music is pretty fitting for my mood right now. keeps breaking through. I assume I'm eventually going to find out what it is. I guess the developers didn't program certain noises in a way so that they don't play unless you're physically present in a certain room. I get the idea that sound travels and you can sometimes hear it through stone walls to an extent, and that's more realistic in some ways, but this is just annoying hearing this weird shit randomly like this. And speaking of annoying shit, this fucking guy keeps popping up like an asshole and ruining my mood. Spiders stay dead, unlike most other things in this game. My tenth challenge star. Jeez, it got louder. Well, that definitely explains the noise. Yeah, okay, that made a lot of fucking sense. There's probably a way to time this. Hey, getting it on the second try doesn't seem too bad to me. Is there a way up there? Okay, just because I know what's causing that noise now doesn't mean it doesn't get annoying, you know? Yes, I'm done! This was probably the best lesson so far, honestly. Although, where does this go? What was the point of that? What? No. No. You've got to be kidding me. Right? Oh, I don't fucking believe this shit. Oh my god, this is unreal. You have got to be shitting me. Am I stuck? Or am I forgetting something? I can't believe I fell down here and have to walk through part of the lesson all over again. Shit! This is fucking bullshit! I can't believe this just happened. I literally had to walk a few more feet to complete the lesson while I was up there. God damn. And now I can't even remember how to move past this part of the course. Everything's just blocked off now. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Fuck your music! Do I just kill myself and reset somewhere else? <sighs> I 
I hate to do that, but I don't know what else to try. Well then, I guess I'll keep falling from that height until I die. Uh, are you telling me that I can fall for a long distance as long as I was initially launched by a spongify tile? I mean, I guess that was intentionally programmed game logic if they intend to throw you a far distance, that it would be unfair for you to get hurt just to progress through the level. Oh look, it worked! Timer reset and you gave me back a couple hundred seconds. And I made it through too, yes, no, fuck! Okay, deep breath, I can get through it again. Come on, I can do this. I've lost most of my patience and that's why I'm fucking up. I can't believe I got through it again that one time and then walked backwards off of the edge. God damn it! I just gotta... gotta take it slow. No, I can't help it. I'm so impatient that I'm willing to just fling myself blindly into it, hoping that I'll get through it this time. Okay, this time I'll wait, and I don't know how to time myself, but... Yes, I got it! Figured it out. Just have Harry jump up on the live Spongify tile as the top ends of the bars move up from the center. It probably works just as well if you were timing it off the bottom, too, but... Eh. Yeah, I'm not having the large spider fall on me again. God, I'm so curious, but I'm not about to try again. I've run out of steam now. Well done, Harry! You've completed my sponge if I challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Yeah, thanks for that, I guess. I don't know. I'm done now. Goodbye.